Hey everyone, this is Uthris. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, we're still working on our transport ship. Uh, and I'm working on the paint job at the moment. The ship design itself is pretty much done. There's some internal wiring to hook up, but uh, everything is functioning pretty much as it should. Except for this back ramp here. This back ramp is giving me a bit of trouble in terms of the rotor just explodes uh, when you're flying around. I don't know why. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure it's just a known bug and you really shouldn't fly around with rotors and pistons. But I know people can lock them into place. I just don't know how they do it. So, if you guys know, you, you can let me know in the comments below how to, to make these things don't explode when you're flying around. But until then, I can't really fly this thing. Or if I do, I just have to get rid of the door. Uh, it's a bit of a pain, but it's just something we have to do. I also got rid of the side entrance. It didn't work. Uh... And plus to make a staircase or something fit on the side of the craft would have been a big pain and so the entrance into the ship is just through the cargo hatch and that's fine in my opinion that just means I have to put a button out here to control everything uh, and that won't be too hard I keep trying to land these things like all my spaceship but right now pretty much my landing gear explodes every time they touch anything and if I lock it into place and then unlock it one of them will explode so that's why these aren't locked down uh, that ship is locked down but if I were to unlock it all three of those landing gears would explode I don't know what causes that either uh, let's see thinking about mixing up some of the colors here Especially with these little juts and things like this area. I can actually probably put a couple of white areas through the armor. That way at least there's some type of break going on in between the colors. And you can just kind of bring out some details by doing this. So like I think this little jut out would be a good example. It's not going to be a perfect paint job. I will have to go in and actually get rid of some blocks so I can paint underneath it and then come back to touch up on top. That's what I had to do in these areas for the black and in fact, this upper section will need this as well. Anyways, this ship is pretty much done. And I hope you guys enjoy it. The next ship, I'm thinking, uh, I don't want to do a large, small ship uh, back to back. It might just take too long. To produce something good consistently and so what I would like to do is to do kind of more of a smaller ship maybe a heavy fighter or a light bomber and you know just, just to break it up a little bit but this thing is pretty cool uh, I haven't built one of these in Space Engineers at all yet and it's definitely my biggest build in terms of spacecrafts uh, that I've done in the game. Uh, when it first came out, I built a pretty large station, but that's been long gone, so nothing I can really do about that at this point. So I couldn't show you guys. Uh, oop, needs to be red. Also, uh, Medieval Engineers is back, and you guys should be enjoying some new content there. And I hope you guys 
are the the series is uh it's, it's not Lothloria it's just gonna be building onto uh, smaller buildings and specific buildings we're not doing any of the uh, massive builds that like Lothloria on this one uh, so try and keep the suggestions a little bit more manageable I'd say the like I, d I don't want to go and build a giant town for example or a full town uh, I, I more or less want to build buildings so you guys could actually just load them for the workshop and insert them into your own town so think of like professions and things of that nature that you would like me to do or if it's not a profession maybe a uh, just a building type in general you can also copy some realistic buildings or buildings already in real life uh, that would be pretty cool as well uh, anything from England would be pretty cool to do uh, what's the best way to color this This section has a little notch just because of the window taking up a spot. And I need to replace the window on this side because I had to delete something on the other side. And having uh, your your settings on mirrored mode can be a pain sometimes. And that always a good idea. Where is it? I really hope they, in my opinion, change how windows look at the moment. I mean, having that... Hold on one second, I'm thinking here. Having that one-way mirror effect isn't my favorite thing in the world. I mean, it can look okay, but I would like to see in the cockpit from the outside and still be able to see out from the cockpit. You know what I mean? Because right now it's just uh, doesn't really work like that. Turn this off real quick. There we go. Turn symmetry back on. And let's see. I'll go ahead and fly this around for you all, so you guys can see all the actions. If I can. It's not quite on the ground, so I had to jump there. Normally, you can just walk up onto it. So, you can retract the the back hatch, and it does it very smooth. Uh, I think it gets pretty flush. Let's turn on all of our lights here and shut our back cargo bay. I think the design is pretty industrial looking, especially for a light fighter which is what I wanted, and I added some more thrusters, uh, at least some small ones in some areas, and some more gyroscopes, so it behaves a little bit easier and more fluid. Oh. Woo! Okay, so the door likes to kick open. Fun. Let me just see if I can't lock that in place. It'll probably blow up. In fact, I'm gonna save before I do this. So, uh, the, the move maneuverability is still fairly good, and there it goes the door, and now it's stuck on the ship. Come on. Uh, we can. There we go. The door is gone. So we can roll uh, a good bit faster than last episode and do some better maneuvers, but I still think it's. It's acceleration and stopping in most directions feel pretty heavy, and that's a good thing for a ship like this. You wouldn't want this, and realistically speaking, you wouldn't think this thing would be able to outrun a light fighter or be more agile. Let me just bring this in. The bottom has a connector, of course, kind of flush, and to hook up, 
you know, you just have to fly over one that is, uh, it's kind of, you, you kind of have to be a male-female connection. It can't be just flush to the landing pad. Not really the best for most cases, but I would say it would, it would need like a what, what what am I looking for? Almost like a cargo area specifically for ships like these, and you would, you would have this set up. Otherwise, everything would be loaded manually via trucks or something like that. I think that would be pretty cool to see. You guys can also suggest uh, ground vehicles. I think that would be a fun thing to build. Up, oh, off we go. And I think that'll do it for this episode. It's gonna be a little short because this one's pretty much done. It took three episodes, so and a good bit of hours to finish. Hopefully, the next one we can do in a single episode. That would be pretty nice but I can show you guys the landing gear and how they just explode as soon as I touch down here. I mean, I'm not going down at a drastic speed. I can even turn it, my inertia dampeners off and just barely touch and there goes landing gear. Really wish that wouldn't happen. Oh well. So. Oh, we have blue beds some type of different color i guess anyways thanks for watching if you guys are enjoying the content feel free to subscribe leave a comment down below on what you would like me to build next there'll be three options to vote on as usual and i'll see you guys in the next episode